what's up YouTube, how's it going? I'm Landon Production, but did you guys know that the upcoming Super Bowl, people are calling it the Weed Bowl. This is because the two teams playing for the Super Bowl, the state they come from, are the only two states in America that legalized weed. Huh. So my last video I asked you guys, if you can have any pet, what would it be? And this is what you said. Today's comment question of the day is, what's your talent? So let me introduce to you guys 20 year old Alexandra Robertson. She's 6 foot 1 and she has one of the largest legs in the world. It's almost 4 feet long and just look at them, wow. She's like a daddy long legs for humans. She is currently studying musical theater and modeling. Recently she entered a competition in Russia for Miss Longest Legs. Yeah I know right, that sounds so weird but it's an actual thing and guess what, she won. After she won, she was signed by a local agency. Alexander told the media that I do get some stares and I suppose I do intimidate men sometimes, especially in my high heels, but it's not on purpose. And a lot of people come up to her and ask her, do you play basketball? And she always replies with no, do you play mini golf? Alexandra actually comes from a family of tall people. Her sister is 33 years old and she's the same height as her. Do you guys think that having long legs is attractive? Okay, so moving on down in New Zealand, Stuart Facer is this fisherman who caught this. What the heck is that? Now this this should be called a jellyfish. It's totally see-through and there's like not much happening inside of it. Stewart said it felt scaly and quite firm. He has no idea what it could be, but however, a lead researcher from the National Marine Aquarium thinks it's a Selpa megior. It's a kind of marine invertebrate. They're only found in cold waters around New Zealand. They're harmless creatures and they only feed on plankton. Okay, so over in the UK, Freya Wells is this four-year-old girl who was taken to the hospital because she was vomiting blood and she was having trouble breathing. Well, guess what? When she got there, she actually died in the hospital and this is because the doctors gave her the wrong medication. Dr. Ibrahim gave her medications orally which doesn't even make sense like I'm no doctor or anything but you're vomiting why would you give medication orally? Isn't the damn thing just gonna come right out? There was a junior staff member that suggested to the doctor that they should give free of the drugs and medication through intravenous. So this doctor was sent to the general medical council where her license was suspended pending a full investigation. Freya's mother couldn't believe what happened. She brought her daughter to the hospital to get taken care of but who would have known that taking her there would have killed her. This little girl had a 95% chance of survival and walking out healthy and okay. So you have to be a really bad doctor to screw up and I think we found one. It just sucks that it came at the expense of this little girl. What do you guys think should happen to the doctor? Anyways viewers, that was for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.